Alright, and welcome back everyone to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, playing as the Russian Empire, and, well, <laughs> we're building, we're building a lot, and uh, some of the things we're going to be building are fucking ridiculous. It's almost, it's almost kind of scary to think about, like, frankly speaking, there are a lot of times when I'm like, do I need to build something that big? And then I just go like, yeah, I need to build something that big. And then we end up with the monstrosity that we just built. Oh, man. 1.75 billion to build one of these. <laughs> I can build three of the Pabettas for one of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good. Oh, it's so, so good. All right, so quality control three. Uh, we're going to take the focus off hull strengthening for right now, and we're just going to keep focusing over here. Uh, Boiler-wise, what we're getting, advanced destroyer, uh, destroyer funnels. Actually, you know what? Let's start focusing on destroyers again. Because what eventually I'll do is, is I'll build a new class of destroyer. It won't be, you know, like these guys, the Gromioskis, they're going to be able to, uh, they're going to be able to just be there and do their thing. And they're going to be no problem whatsoever because they're capable destroyers. And because they do everything, they're universal, it's not a big deal. But then I can build another class to accompany my, uh, my fleets that is more meant for combat so we can do that of course we're still waiting on the hey i'm not gonna have enough room there that's funny um we're still waiting for the heavy cruisers to finish up five months on the pipettas in odessa the two cruisers into uh Kronstadt. so we still got that and then once we hit 100 destroyers, like 100 like actual destroyers uh, that are dispersed around the Empire, then we'll stop building destroyers. We'll start focusing on the cruisers and, and whatnot and start like hardcore trying to get things settled in that regard. And then, of course, our battle cruisers, which are battle cruisers, I, I've decided... I, I took a break for a little bit to to work on some stuff with the game um the uh mobile game that i play they have events that uh start at 11 p.m or 11 a.m my bad and so i took a break to do that and so i was thinking about it um what i'm gonna do is, is i'm gonna base uh novosavirsk is going to be our base for our battle cruiser fleet um or yeah yeah that will be the base for our battle cruiser fleet, and then our reserve fleet will base out of Sevastopol, and the battle cruisers will just be battle cruisers. It will just be a couple battle cruisers. In this case, it will be two battle cruisers. That that's all we can fit there. Um, that will be heavy rapid response forces. Um, they can move basically anywhere and fuck shit up. <laughs> and then with. The Pavettas, I'm actually going to stop building the Pavettas. And I'm going to build the Neutron Mini, uh, Minia. Uh, I want to know what that means. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, I gotta do a search. Hold on, Brave, come here. <laughs> I actually want to know what that means. Neutron... So first off, it was a, <clears throat> the original namesake of the ship is an ironclad, and unfortunately, it doesn't say what the, well, 
Hold on. Translator, I need you. <laughs> Huh, I'm actually gonna have to look that up and research it a little bit. I'm I want to know what this word or what this name means, <laughs> because if you guys don't know, um, go and look up Russian World War II tank names. You are going to find some fucking absolute gems. <laughs> you are going to find some of the raunchiest fucking names possible, and it's fucking fantastic. Like it's really it's really funny. Um, when they started adding uh, tank decals to uh, World of Tanks, or not World of Tanks, World of War, uh, uh, War Thunder, War Thunder. When they started adding decals to War Thunder, a lot of people were like, "Hey, what about this one?" And War Thunder was like, "Um, yeah, we we can't do that." <laughs> what do you mean? Um. Yeah, in, in Russian, in Russian, that means something that, no, no, we're not adding that to the game. <laughs> like, there, there's one that is literally Hitler's a bitch. <laughs> like, that's literally the name, is Hitler is a bitch. <laughs> I, believe, I believe that was, I want to say that was an, I, an IS tank that had that on it. That was that was the name of the tank. Like literally the name of the tank. It was Hitler is a bitch. <laughs> I fucking love the Russians. Oh, those Russians. <laughs> fucking glorious bastards. Alright. Um But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop building the Pavettas because at this point in time we have a better ship. <laughs> <laughs> A 1.7 billion monstrosity. <laughs> like, I don't think there's another ship on in the game right now. Like, I don't think another nation has a ship equipped like I have that one. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little giddy from this because it's just, I want to watch this thing, this thing just smack the absolute fuck out of something. I just want to watch it absolutely obliterate something and just one, like just H-E, dead. <laughs> I just want to watch it. It's going to be so good. Now the Pavetta is what, what's going to happen with the Pavetta is I'm going to keep the Pavetta around. They're they're going to stay around as a reserve line. They're they're going to be a reserve line of ship. Um, I'll probably end up putting. Actually, you know what? What we'll do. I don't think I have a port over here in the Caribbean that I can put them. Yeah, nowhere close. So what we'll do is we'll put them in Spain. That's what we'll do is as we build our other battleships, we'll put the Papetas into Spain and they'll just they'll just be the Spanish garrison. <laughs> we'll just create reserve a reserve fleet with with the Papetas at the head of them. All right, and those all right, 3 months across the board and then our <laughs> our fleet is coming together very nicely. Yes. Yes, yes. As he menacingly rubs his hands looking at the map. <laughs> Who do I kill first? Uh, Destroyer 4 is unlocked. Destroyer 2 is now considered obsolete. Let's go check out Destroyer 2 as a hull. Because I don't know how big that would be. Or, let me rephrase. I don't know how it, how big it can be. So destroyer four. 
So she maxes out 23, 2350. So she she can be chunky. At her current tonnage, she would kind of be a waste. But that oh yeah, no, we could we could definitely use that. I actually want to see what I can do with her. We still have dog shit rear towers. Like absolutely terrible rear, rear towers. So real quick, let's go ahead. Can we put a five inch gun on that? We can. to be long range Actually, if we don't put mines on it, it'll save some weight. Honestly speaking, the guns don't even have to be armored, really. So, yeah, we want her to be as long range as possible. So how do we cut down on the, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> there we go, we just minus off some of the torpedoes. Okay, so she can't carry as many torpedoes, but... I think that's a pretty competent destroyer design. So we have to wait until we get to 2350, and then we can build this exact design. I wish I could save the design. Like, this this should be an option. Like, like save, but you can't build them. Because, like, I would love to just be able to have this. But I think I think this is, this is our go-to. Because this literally is... You know, long range enough to stay with the fleet. It can dish out fucking damage because we're we're talking we're talking this many five inch guns. The DPS is gonna be freaking ridiculous. Like she is going to slot anything smaller than a heavy cruiser. And hell, even some heavy cruisers are gonna have have to contend with two or three of these things firing at once. It's gonna rip it to shreds. So, okay, yeah. So we. Our, our, our destroyer fours are what are going to be our our main fleet destroyers when we get those. And the only reason why I'm not putting mines on them is because the mines are kind of pointless. Like, they're, they're not pointless, but they're not something that you really have to have on a fleet destroyer. You have to have mine hunting equipment. Like, you have to. But laying mines, not really necessary.
actually, now that I think about it, I basically designed the Farragut. I basically designed a Farragut right there. Funny enough. <laughs> I think that was literally just a Farragut. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and proceed. Got two more turns until our stuff that we have building finishes, and then we can start building new shit. Oh, the battleship's actually finished a little earlier. So we'll start building our two our, our two sixteen inch dreadnoughts. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't know if you guys might remember this. Um, oh yeah, I'll take free money. Uh, yep. Fuck off. I don't know if you guys remember this article coming out of the UK. Um, I believe it was the Guardian that posted it, where they posted an article talking about how the uh, how the British government spent a shit a shit ton of money on five inch guns S subsection the guns are no are no are not as long as a number two pencil <laughs> the guardian got dragged that day let's just say that <laughs> and we got more oil so i'm very happy with that more oil freedom bitches but yeah, no, that article was fucking hilarious. Like, probably one of the... Probably the butt of every joke for, like, two years. Like, The Guardian was getting dragged so hard for that. It was unfucking real Okay, are we still under... Okay, no, we're not. Okay, so we need to wait until... Suspend, and then these guys are going into Vladivostok. So as soon as this other stuff finishes, we'll be able to start those up. Um, but yeah, the, the Guardian got dragged for that that article for ages because everybody was like, are you freaking stupid? It was fucking great. Now, yes, a five a five a five inch by five caliber gun. That's that's what we call mortar. <laughs> we call that a mortar. <laughs> it's not a gun. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and resume that, get that, and then we've got so we got the two uh, four cruisers in Kronstadt or Odessa. Let's go ahead and get the next two going into Vladivostok. Two destroyers deploying into Vladivostok. And then I think we might still have the tonnage to do another 10 destroyers. Oh, oh, oh crap. The Grumyashki is now considered fucking obsolete. Fuck. Fuck. God damn. Now that's kind of a problem. <laughs> no. My children, why do you do this to me? Why? Why? This is what I get for using a smaller freaking design. All right. Well, we'll wait until we hit 1,900 tons to build this out then. Well, actually, it raises the question. Do we have... Do we have enough destroyers pushed across the board. I think I'm going to have an aneurysm now. Hold on guys, let me let me go fucking make real good friends with an interstate.
God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, this is obsolete now, so you can't build it anymore. Motherfucker. No, it isn't. All right. Let's, let's run a turn, let these commission. Because we might, we might need to just disperse these destroyers, make sure every port has at least one. Because the whole, the whole purpose of these is you know, universal, universal nature, you know, they're able to do a little bit of everything. And then we design a whole new line of destroyer for the fleets. Futwa. Game. Futwa. Oh, God. Oh, no. What does Italy have? <laughs> the Republic, of, the Republic of Indy, the Republic of Italy is a thing now. Oh, the Republic of China is also a thing now. Oh, look at that! The communist, the communist government is is in control of China now. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm the last i think i'm the last standing oh no the empire so the empire of germany or the empire of japan is still a thing and the british empire is still a thing so so there are only three empires left in the entire in the entire game <laughs> oh boy the monarchies are falling. We must preserve. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, wait. I have 1900. What? Okay, hold on. Start up here. Okay, you don't have a destroyer, so we need to send a destroyer there. You have three, Valencia. Why do you have three? You even have the Grimiashki herself. So many destroyers, and I'm gonna move two to Bata since we don't have any f ships in that region, anyways. Saipan is overloaded.
one random portal here. There's four destroyers in that area. All right, so everywhere should have a destroyer at this point. So we have enough. That's good. That's very good. Now, what we can do is design a new destroyer to put into the place. Why can't I max this out? Oh, it maxes out at 2,000. Okay, so we'll wait until we get to 2,000, then we'll build these. Because I, you know. The Tsar's palaces must be a thing. <laughs> but at least our light cruisers have minesweeping equipment, I think. No, no, they have, they have, they actually lay mines. Ugh. All right, so we don't we're not building any more of those. Can I queue up a couple more heavy cruisers? Probably. Nope. Nope, we can't. Oh, of course. That's fine. It's okay. I only kind of hate myself. Uh, la, 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 la. So these guys have to go into Sebastopol. Because apparently Odessa is overloaded now. Why is Odessa overloaded? That makes no sense. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so Odessa is actually basically at capacity. Oh, and neither of these have any destroyers either. I forgot to check those. All right. Now, now that the fleet is Dispersed again. <laughs> I like protecting my people. My people must be protected. And slowly but surely, our tonnage increases more and more, and the world is like, what's Russia up to again? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Germany's just going to get eaten next. <clears throat> or Japan. <laughs> I really should eat Germany, but Japan's easier. Japan will be much easier. Uh, let's actually... that quickly very nice gun mechanisms am i getting i'm getting double turrets for fucking destroyers but i'm not getting them for fucking <laughs> give me <laughs> i just want double turrets <laughs> i just want double turrets for my fucking cruisers damn it <laughs> oh man the game the game's trolling me at this point the game is full-blown trolling me. Like, it's like, <laughs> this motherfucker wants dual turrets for his cruisers. <laughs> We're going to give him for his destroyers first. Fuck this guy. I guess it works. I guess it works, you know. Getting ready to design my new fleet destroyers. Be able to make the distinction. Seriously? Go into the port. Go into the port. Mm. 
you freaking idiots. I hate how it does that. Like, if you just off, if you click it just the wrong way, it won't actually go into the port. ones oh yeah they did actually add destroyer leaders to russia as well i forgot about those russia now has a destroyer leader which if you guys are curious what a destroyer leader is is basically it's a it's an oversized destroyer almost to a light cruiser standard um a lot of a lot of people will go back and forth on whether or not it was a good concept personally from a command point of view it was a great concept because it gave extra room for command facilities on the ship and so you would have a destroyer that could actually command a flotilla pretty fucking effectively from a combat point of view it wasn't all that great which no duh <laughs> like Having an oversized target usually doesn't go well. Usually. All right. Well, we've got all of our bases covered at this point in time. Now we would we need to build more ships in order to cover the bases that we have. But we'll leave the rest of these. We'll leave the destroyers like like they are, and then as soon as we have uh, twenty two. Wow, we're making a big jump. Holy crap. Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect to make that big of a jump that quickly. Five times superimposed guns. <laughs> Makes no sense. Like, there's not enough room on the deck in order to do five. Like... What, how many batteries would that be? So, so 10, 10 batteries. So you have, what would that be? Like, I don't know how you would do that layout. Like the most, the most batteries on a ship that I've seen that actually worked was the Texas class and, or in the New York class. Was it the New York class? Yeah. New York class. The New York class, which had five or six batteries, six 14 inch batteries, if I remember correctly. <laughs> like that was the only, like that's the most I've seen on, on work, like actually work. <laughs> Everybody's tried to, trying to be my friend. They're like, uh, uh, like this guy's mean, he's evil. We need to be friends with him. <laughs> actually, let's, uh, let's check. So everybody except for the Chinese are on par with each other. I guess I could just kill the Chinese in a, in a single war just to just quickly wipe them out. We should be able to queue these up, no problem. actually might be able to queue up how many how many more cruisers do we need we need two more from Vladivostok we might be able to fit them yeah boy let's go all right cool so that finishes up Vladivostok from the well, from the light cruiser, uh, light cruiser perspective. So, as soon as those light cruisers are finished, we'll queue up the last two heavy cruisers for our our main fleets, and then we'll start working on the reserve fleet. Well, actually, I want to I want to try to get the battle cruisers out. Our rapid, our our quick response force. Do do. Yeah. We got two months on these. Three months on that. 
And then I don't know how big of a jump we're going to make because we just jumped to 2,200 tons. Like that, that was a massive jump. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to this next level of hull construction and then I'm going to take the focus off of that. But once we build this fleet, like once we get the whole fleet put together, I think this is where we're going to really just be able to drive and just push hard across the board. Um, oh yeah, fuck you, Japan. <laughs> like, I get, to, uh, I, I get to insult you? Yes, please. Man, fucking all my allies fucking bailed on me and they fucking joined the goddamn... They, why? What, what did I do to you people? What did I do? Was I not obliging enough with your frickin'? I built your fleet, Croatia. Your whole fleet is my fucking designs. And you fucking stab me in the back like this. It, but Jesus Christ, how many battleships did I build for them? <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't realize how many fucking battleships I built. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is this called karma? Like, is this is this what karma is? Is that I built I built all these ships for these fucking nations, and then they're like, okay, we're done with you. All right. Well, we have dual barrels on our uh, on our destroyers now. Let's see if we can get the maxed out, maxed out design for the destroyers, for the destroyer fours. And if we can, that'll be, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty slick. And then we're over 200,000 tons in the shipyards at once. So we're looking pretty good there. We're about to be over 100,000 tons for max design. <laughs> oh boy. Shit's, uh, shit's kind of wild, don't you say? I don't think the battle cruisers are going to happen because I'm going to build six of the, uh, of the marina class as quickly as I'm... <laughs> as quickly as i can <laughs> because it's like mm, uh, yeah my, my bigger ships are more important <laughs> must have more tonnage <laughs> all right and then we can take this off let this just fucking fly and then just keep poking the japanese We've almost got our army logistics maxed back out, so that's good. Then the Chinese don't have a fucking navy whatsoever. <laughs> the Chinese are sitting there like, what do we, what do? <laughs> it's going to really annoy me, like... Like, when we take Thailand and Eastern China, they're, they're going to... Tibet and Bhutan are just going to go ungoverned again. And it's like, but I want land. Must have land. Oh, actually, what are we getting here? So, 16.5 heavy cruiser. very tempted to build a pocket battleship design again but at the same time like i guess i guess having a pocket battleship design posted in the caribbean and the pacific might be a good move like something that can actually damage some of these bigger ships and actually like hurt them that's able to be stationed in those regions because you know lack of tonnage uh 
yeah, why not? Them again. Alright, two more turns or so, and we should have the next level of destroyer tech, which then should give us the max. If I hope it just gives us the max for destroyer four. Because that would be fucking meant yeah don't touch my budget yeah, whatever you do do not touch my fucking budget oh, two turns on that all right what are we what are we getting 24 okay so oh oh we're getting a new hull oh Oh, oh my. We also need to work on in engine tech, tech as well. Because we have gear tur turbines. Gear turbines are great, but they're kind of, you know, you want to get forward from them. I think gear turbines were used basically up until the late 30s and then a lot of a lot of ships started switching over to um uh what were they um crap i don't remember the name of the uh i don't remember the name of the turbine that the uh io was used i know it was um, if i remember correctly it wasn't a gear turbine uh don't touch my budget don't want to fall below 7%. Like anything that increases my GDP is great, but I don't want to fall below 7%. Because below 7% is going to prevent me from actually being able to maintain the fleet. All right, and we're about to finish up those two cruisers, and then I can use that extra wiggle room once all those, well, actually, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll have the wiggle room. Maybe. All right. Let us, yeah, we're going to, we're going to swap off of this once we get that hull unlocked. I want to start focusing on engines. The better engines we can get, the more weight savings and so on and so forth. Greater range, which range is definitely something we need. And we got triple bottom. Very nice. All right, research. Switch away from that, switch on to that. Let's go ship design, then let's check out this new destroyer. Oh, very nice. She's, so she maxes out at 27, five, which is fine. Oh, yes. I love having a Barbette Tower. Barbette Towers are my favorite towers.
No, we can even throw a little deck gun on the side there. That's funny. Tower. Can we fit it on the side with that tower? Oh, damn it. Alright, how do we get this to work? A little unorthodox, but it works. Alright, that's actually pretty slick. That's it's actually really fucking slick. <laughs> I like it. Just add those two inch guns on there just just for shits and gigs, I guess. Nah, we'll we'll save the weight. Alright. So let's go ahead and throw all the tech on. Oh, we have two powder now. Nice. Let's go Electro Hydro, hydro for that. Me, oh my. It's a very, uh, it's a very nice looking destroyer. Very nice looking destroyer. Alright, so let's check angles of fire. Everything is looking freaking slick. She's not a maxed out design, unfortunately, gentlemen, but I think she passes the sniff test. I do, I do, I do believe she passes the sniff test. Let's go. All right, cool. So this gives us our destroyers for our fleets. And gives us the capability to have a very competent destroyer because, again, eight, eight five-inch barrels coming off of this bitch. Like... Let me, let me put this into perspective for you guys. This thing has 50% more firepower than our normal destroyer design. And on top of that, because of dispersion, they're more likely to hit things. <laughs> like, <laughs> and because it's a five inch gun, it actually does damage. So this is going to be absolutely hilarious to watch this thing just dumpstering enemy ships and it's more stable it's faster etc cetera, etc cetera. it's just it's just going to be a very fun design to play with 
So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tie this one up here. I love you all. Have a good one.